Hey everyone and welcome to the first video in the Combinator video manual. Basically the plan is to go through pretty much every feature in the Combinator so we have a video guide as a reference to, to everything that's available in the software. Um, the video is right now going to be based on version 1.5.1 so if you are in the future and we're on a future version some things might be a little bit different but this is how things stand right now so uh, in section one of this video manual we're going to look at all the pre-flop things everything you do before you get to post-flop mode and in this first video we're going to just be looking at the basics of the hand grid so here we have a, a grid of all uh, hold and preflop hands. Um, people who have used other analytics software like Pokestove or Equilab will should be familiar with this layout of uh, preflop hands. Basically, we just got all suited hands in the top right in this nice pink hue, and uh, in the bottom left, all offsuit hands. So you can see all aces here from ace two going upwards. You can see how they're ordered. Um, and in this hand grid you can just uh, click with the left mouse button here obviously and start selecting hands. Obviously your goal here will be to select some kind of pre-flop range before we start post-flop analysis. So you can see just by clicking and holding down you can quickly select some hands. This is just all with the left mouse button. There are some uh, uh, what I call selection modes down here. We have line, diagonal and cross and this basically allows us to select more than one hand at a time for, for, for rapid pre-flop hand selection. So you can see after each one they have uh, a modifier key, shift, control and shift and control. This basically means when we're in the hand grid, I'm going to hold down the shift key here, you see we select, uh, we go into line mode, you can see it turns green here, and this basically select allows us to select uh, lines of hands. So here if we just click once, we get all hands A3 suited or better, down here all hands A6 off or better. And instead of if you don't want to hold down the shift, you shift key you can actually click down here and this locks us into line mode so you can see here I'm not holding down the shift key but we just stay in line mode you can see the line mode um, will kind of intelligently switch to uh, you know diagonal for, for pairs or better and then upwards in offsuit so you know you can see how we could quickly select like uh, you know a pre-flop range like this um, it also works for deselection so you know if we click here down king three off we're going to deselect all these hands and uh, maybe we want to deselect something like that so uh, that's line I'll just quickly show you the others diagonal obviously is diagonal across the whole grid this is useful selecting um, connected hands so here's all suited connectors or suited one gappers and on pairs we can do still you know threes or better uh, the final one we have here is uh, cross. This is less useful for kind of pre-flop, more useful for post-flop. So if we want, you know, if the flop comes with a ten on it, and we want to select all hands that make make that pair of tens, we can just click here and we select all all tens, and um, click here. You know, that would be all fives. Um, you know, you could, you know, if you want to select all tens and fives, you could also, you know, click it, click it there. But there you go. That's pretty much uh, selection mode, um, and that wraps it up for our first video. In the next video, we'll look at the uh, the rankings and these other features on the site. Nice one.